Welcome to Cryptopia, my name is Hunter, and on this channel I keep you up to date on all things Web3 and crypto. Kim Kardashian agreed to pay more than $1 million to settle SEC charges for failing to disclose a payment she received for touting a crypto asset on Instagram. She also agreed not to promo crypto assets for three years, and will cooperate with an ongoing investigation. Kardashian had already gotten heat from regulators and investors over the June 2021 post. Kim Kardashian's crypto misadventure has landed her in hot water with federal regulators. The reality TV superstar and influencer has settled Securities and Exchange Commission charges that she failed to disclose a payment she received for touting a crypto asset on her Instagram feed, the agency announced Monday morning. This case is a reminder that when celebrities or influencers endorse investment opportunities including crypto asset securities, it doesn't mean that those investment products are right for all investors. Gary Gensler chairman of the SEC, said in a news release. Gensler said the case also serves as a reminder that the law requires celebrities and others to disclose when and how much they are paid to promote investing in securities. Kardashian, who is reportedly worth $1.8 billion, agreed to pay $1.26 million to settle the charges over a promotion on Meta's Instagram for Ethereum Max's crypto asset, the SEC said. She will also cooperate with an ongoing investigation and has agreed to not promote crypto securities for three years, a regulator added. However, Kardashian, who has built a media and lifestyle empire, neither admitted to nor denied the regulator's findings, the SEC said. In a statement, a lawyer for Kardashian said she is pleased to have resolved the matter. Kardashian fully cooperated with the SEC from the very beginning as she remains willing to do whatever she can to assist the SEC in this matter. She wanted to get this matter behind her to avoid a protracted dispute. The agreement she reached with the SEC allows her to do that so that she can move forward with her many different business pursuits, a statement said. The settlement helped Kardashian avoid a much more intrusive process that might have involved a deposition and document collection, according to attorney Duncan Levin, who has represented convicted fraudster Anna Sorokin, Aka, Anna Delvey. It also gave the SEC a chance to make an example of a star, he said. The SEC is interested in sending a message to other potential celebrity endorsers of securities to make sure their posts are not misconstrued as financial advice, said Levin, who also worked as a federal prosecutor and as the head of asset forfeiture in the New York District Attorney's Office. Kardashian had already felt regulatory heat over her Ethereumax promo, which she posted on Instagram in June of last year. She started the post by asking her approximately 250 million Instagram followers, are you into CRVPTO? This is not financial aid advice, but sharing what my friend is just to DM me about the ETHERUM Max token. Investors sued her former NBA star Paul Pierce and superstar boxer Floyd Mayweather Jr. earlier this year over their promos for Ethereum Max, accusing them of artificially inflating the value of the asset. The SEC on Monday said Kardashian failed to report that she was paid $250,000 by Ethereum Max through an intermediary to publish a post about EMAX tokens, a crypto asset offered by Ethereum Max. The post, which featured the hashtag hashtag ad, included a link to the Ethereum Max website, which gives users instructions about how to buy the tokens, the regulator added. Her failure to disclose the payment was a violation of federal securities laws, the SEC said. She agreed to pay $260,000, which includes the payment she received, plus interest, in addition to the $1 million penalty, the agency added. Congress passed a law many decades ago called the Securities Act, and it was to protect the public, Gensler told CNBC's Squawk Box on Monday morning. Part of that law said that if you have a stock, you have to disclose if you're getting paid. Thank you for tuning in, and I will see you in the next video.